York City mayoral candidate and the Guardian Angels founder, Curtis Sliwa. Wonderful to see you again, Curtis. Thanks for being here. Okay, let's just talk about this guy, this one guy in particular, 29 years old, came from Venezuela. His last name is Martinez. He has attacked people with a knife, with a tire iron. He, he saw a woman, he, for one reason or another, he didn't like. He, he grabbed her by the hair, dragged her across the street. He should have been in jail after the first violent crime that he committed let and he shouldn't have been let into the united states in the first place the police are doing their job they're arresting these people border patrol are trying to keep them out it's the law and order all above that grade that's doing the failure oh absolutely the best thing in the world to be is no two english words asylum seeker and you're an untouchable and he said no much no much asylum seeker you're free. We bring you back to your hotel. You get your three squares. You get your PlayStation, right? Your 72-inch plasma TV. It's like you hit Lotto and Powerball. Meantime, everybody else is trying to come in legally or has come in legally. They had to jump through hoops. They had to wait. And they said, Millions of people are still trying. Right. Now, originally, remember, we're on the cusp of 9-11. ICE was formed after 9-11 because we said, wow, they're getting in here illegally through visas right. or they're coming in as tourists, they're overstaying or they're sneaking across the border. You realize law enforcement here, because we're a sanctuary city, is not permitted to contact ICE. This guy should immediately have been detained by ICE, brought to a federal compound, tried here in America, did his time here, and then ship him back to where he's from, Venezuela. Make him Maduro's problem. Now, don't you think Maduro did exactly what Castro did in the 1980s? The Marielitas, he, he, he opened the prisons, he opened the insane asylums, and he said, here, you want them, you can take them. That's right. And naturally, we're suckers, just like Jimmy Carter waited on shore for 125,000 Marielitos. Remember, Bill Clinton said, I'll do you a solid. We'll house them at Fort Chafee. The Cubanos, the Marielitos burnt down Fort Chapey, and then Bill Clinton was not elected governor again. And then afterwards, he comes out as this centrist Democrat law and order. Right. Come on, these politicians, never trust politicians. And it's happening all over. The, I mean, we focus on New York because we're here, and there was another aw awful subway attack that happened with this woman that was being beaten by a guy. This is very tough to watch, by the way, if you're... If you're going to stick with us. Uh, we're going to play the videotape while we're talking about it. But I mean, it's happening all over. And police and law and order were created to protect the innocent and the, those people who can't help themselves. Here's a woman who clearly is outmanned by this guy with, a, with an attack stick in his hand. I mean, it's how do you stop this? African-American grandmother on the ground. He almost killed her in Harlem. These are the people who elected Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan. And he says his answer to all this is drone technology. Right. Yeah. How are you going to get drones in the subway? We need cops. You need police officers walking a beat, visible. And notice, the person who filmed that was in the token booth. Right. They were afraid to come out. They're yeah. in a bulletproof yeah. token booth bunker. And nobody else helped this woman. That's why you say to yourself, and we arrested Daniel Penny, the hero Marine in charge him with second degree murder. Right. We arrested Jose Alba, remember, behind the counter, Terrible. who now is living in the Dominican Republic. He says it's safer in the DR than it is in New right. York. Wake up, Eric Adams. And Swag one man thing with no plan. The, the, that goes beyond Adams is the decriminalization of all the shoplifting that we've had in the United States. They even have this new fog that they've developed because it's created such crazy incentives now. That this guy came out with a fog that you let loose in a store that's supposed to blind some of the attackers, some of the shoplifters. I mean, do we really have to go to this? Isn't it easier than creating fog? Don't you just arrest people and put them in jail? No, leave it to the mom and pop shops because the chain stores, they suck it up and then they just close. Mom and pop shops, they have every nickel, dime, and penny in. You saw the Sikhs in Stockton. Bam! 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 You saw the Asians at that jewelry store in L.A. Guy comes in. Bam! Bam! Guarantee it. Nobody in that neighborhood is going in those yeah. stores anyway. That's what you call old school ways. Give them a cast. When they walk around the neighborhood, everybody's going to say, don't go into that store. Look at what that guy got. Yeah. Curtis Lee, great to see you, Curtis. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Coming up inside the town that banned